Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Cassie Dust Roses. So this morning I have uh, my entry for Rachel and Bella Crafts A to Z of Christmas Crafts. Um, I asked on Instagram, so my letter is the letter N, and uh, so I asked on my Instagram for everyone to suggest things related to Christmas that start with the letter N. And over and over and over again, I got the word nativity. Um, so I wanted to create something uh, for you guys and share a tutorial uh, related to the nativity. Um, I did go back and forth about whether I would share something journaling related or something that could be like a decor item or for gift giving. And I kind of landed on something that works for all three. I created these, what I'm calling ornaments. Um, so you can use them to trim your tree or attach to a gift to give to a friend or family member, or you can use them as a little journaling tag in your journal. So this one is made from a vintage Christmas card. And then this one is made from a vintage nativity um, prayer card. And this, exact prayer card is actually in so this was the original version um but i did include it in my my uh christmas digital that i am giving you guys for free until the end of 2021 so if you're watching this and it's still 2021 you can download this digital for free at the link below um, and obviously there are lots of different options for nativity. If you want to craft along, pause the video here, go and download my digi and we can get started. So the other supplies that you'll need for this craft are vintage book pages, some narrow trim and some glue. So I'm going to be using three in one glue just because I try when I made these example ornaments, um, the white glue actually took a very long time to set. It is obviously possible. I mean, they're they're done now and uh, they're holding together very well. So if you need to use white glue, you don't have Fabri-Tac or three in one glue, by all means use the white glue. It works just fine, um, but you will be holding your trim in place for quite a while. Um, so the narrow trim, book page, and glue of your choice. And um, so optional supplies, obviously you can use some trim or um, like sequined fabric. Uh, and then I wanted to have some gold embellishment on this original prayer card. So I used some gold leafing. Obviously I know not everyone has gold leaf and that's okay. Like this is totally an optional um, optional supply. And then of course you can use small embellishments, uh, like stamps or, um, little tiny, tiny snowflake doilies. How cute are these? <laughs> uh, so I thought those would be really cute on, um, on one of your tags or ornaments as well. Um, okay. So let's get started. I will be using another original, um, prayer card for, this tag that I'm gonna make with you guys. So I have a couple of different options here. This one is a very old prayer card. It's got some creases in it and I really love it. I've been hanging on to it for a very long time. Uh, you can also cut a vintage uh, greeting card down. I did that for this one. I loved the foiling on this card and wanted to use it as an ornament. Um, so I'm going to use this look, this one. Um, also below I've included a few verses. Um, so some scripture verses, uh, that you can use on the back of your card. I have left mine with the text from my book page showing. You can obviously you know, cover the back with like a plain sheet, uh, some handmade paper, piano roll paper, uh, something that's easier to write on, uh, that doesn't have like a lot of black, or you can always gesso. 
Um, so that's always an option too. So all I'm going to do is pick out two like contrasting book pages. So you can see in this one, especially I've got different font sizes and uh, different color patina for the pages. Um, so we're going to just pick out two different types of book pages. Oh, also a note about page thickness. Um, so obviously, if you're using an original prayer card or greeting card, the page will be thicker. Um, but if you have printed off my digi, uh, you'll want to back it with something heavier like like a handmade paper or maybe a piece of cardstock. You can always print on cardstock as well. Um, but creating kind of a heavier base for your uh, focal image will help give the ornament or the tag some rigidity. So I'm just gonna set these aside. This is also a really great way to use up some of your vintage book pages. Uh, and then obviously you can use colored paper scraps. Like the options really are endless. I think I might use some music book page. Oh, gold leaf just flies around you guys. I'm trying to keep it in the bowl. <laughs> Basically, all we're going to do is start gluing our layers together. I really don't use Fabri-Tac very often, and my little tiny bottle is really almost empty. So I just love this idea. I'm just like applying my glue very generously and I'm gonna place my um, my focal image to where you can see some of the music notes and the words all the way around uh, you can choose to just place it right up against the edge um, where you'll see like the the edge page patina uh, but I, I really like seeing like what was originally on the page and then we're just going to tear this down to like by hand uh and i recommend just using your fingers your finger forefinger and thumb and slowly tearing it'll create kind of a decal edge that's very imperfect and i think that that just adds so much to this craft. Sorry if you can hear, um, there's like a flock of birds, <laughs> uh, kind of like roosting in the, in the tree line, just right outside my window. <coughs> On the next layer, I'm going to pre-tear the top edge because we will be adding the the um the trim piece in between the two layers so i'm just going to continue to use some of this vintage trick rack it's gold it's very pretty uh but i don't have a lot of it Yeah, just a piece that's long enough to create a little loop and then we will be gluing it right to the top now obviously metallic trim is not <laughs> 
it's not going to be as eager to stick uh, just because it's not as fibrous as like a regular um, cotton or porous fabric trim. So I'm just holding it kind of in place for a second. And really, I probably should not have done this on top of my second page. This is real life crafting with Cassie. <laughs> yeah, see, okay. Um, so I did go back and add some more glue just right on top of the trim because obviously we want the trim to be glued to both layers. And now we're just going to put that right on top. You do have just a tiny bit of time to adjust uh, before everything kind of sets up. And then I'm just going to tear it down. See, so, yeah, like I said, I did include some scriptures uh, in the description box there. Uh, just related to like Christ's birth. And um, so if you are planning to use these as like a gift tag, obviously you can make like a little inscription plate with the little scripture um, or journal that on the back of your tag. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic craft and um, very, very, very easy to make uh, and also extremely pretty, I think. <clears throat> um, so I want to I had some lace here. Oh, here it is. So I think that this lace is actually a little bit too thick for this card and I don't really want to cover that. And so what I might do is just do a tiny bit of gold leafing so that you guys can kind of see my technique on doing that uh, without size, which is like technically what you're supposed to use with gold leafing. Um, so a glue stick. This is not my glue stick of choice. I actually cannot find it right now. <laughs> Um, but it will work just fine. Uh, so all I'm going to do is just add a tiny bit of glue stick where I want the gold leaf to stick. And then just place it on. Um, and as you rub with your fingers, the excess that did not have glue will actually come off. And you'll end up with some gold leaf just kind of floating around, um, which is okay. I'm usually like too generous with my glue. And if you want the gold leaf to appear more um, distressed, you can kind of stretch it as you're placing it over the glued area. And that'll create little tiny, like imperfect tears in the gold leaf. They can also burnish it with, with your fingers. Um, another great option, 
Another great option that you can do uh, for your, uh, like the focal piece is to add some photo corners. I love using photo corners. I think that they um, just like kind of create a little bit of like an embellishment without too much effort. Uh, also, I usually try to add three, three gold areas for balance. And that's it guys. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this again, check out the hashtag A to Z of Christmas crafts and Rachel and Bella crafts on Instagram and here on YouTube. And, uh, also I've linked every channel that is participating in the challenge this month. Um, so there's lots and lots of good information in the description box of the video. Uh, I have had a few people ask me how to access the, de the description box of the video. If you're watching on a mobile device, if you're watching on your phone, for example, um, normally to watch full screen, you would turn your phone uh, to landscape orientation, turn it back to portrait orientation, and then you'll see like the title information and like my channel name and stuff like that. And then you'll be able to see the comments. Next to the title of the video, there's a little down arrow. Click on the down arrow and that's where you'll see all of des the description box information for the video. Um, so anytime the creator has added a link, like supply information or, you know, typed anything there, it will be there. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this craft. I'd love to see what you make with it. Uh, and for sure, tag me on Instagram if you're following me. Uh, again, I've linked that in the description box. <laughs> um, and yeah, until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a good weekend and happy crafting.